Hello, welcome to this video on what to do if you need to swap out a device or work on the FIC duo net. In this case, uh, an electrician has moved a device, has created a fault. First we need to do is punch in our engineer code. Default is 3647. It spells out the word engineer, followed by enter. And then scroll down to option seven, engineer control. Next what we want to do is go into view edit attributes and go all the way down to the bottom to number seven to view number of devices last initialized. Take a note of these and write them down because it'll probably become apparent later on. But we need to see how many devices and make sure the right amount loads next time. Let's take a photo of that service somewhere. Then exit that and exit again. And this time go into loop control and stop the loop. You can either use single loop or all loops, depending on what you want to do. I'm going to go single loop on this occasion, but I've only got one loop anyway, so it really didn't matter. Type in loop you want to stop and hit the enter button. You go stop in loop, please wait. Now you see your disabled lights come on. If you escape all the way out, that is your loop stopped. So what I need to do now is wait for 15 minutes and come back and reinitiate the loop. So go do whatever you need to do now whilst this is <coughs> powered down. 15 minutes later. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes since we stopped the loop now. So we're gonna reinitialize it. And so type in our engineer code, go back down to engineer control option number seven and on to loop control. And this time we're gonna go down to standard initialize loop. Never go fast initialize, don't know why, but I'll tell you never to do that. I go on to that and I stopped a single loop so I'm going to go start single loop type in my loop number which was one and it's going to start going around every device now uh, delivering the config to each device so you can see that it's literally just ticking up and down sorry about the uh, turbo lighting in this room but it's counting up now so we're going to go all the way up until we see the numbers that we had at the very start which were 60 and 60. See now it's uh, just about finished the loop initialization. Couple of 60. So it's going to start doing the spur initialization next. So as you can see the small number there is the number, the device number, and it's just checking to see if there's any spurs coming off of that device. And once that's done, we will get a tick on the spur devices and initialization. Then we want to do is check against the sheet we had at the start to make sure our numbers match each other which they do as you can see here so we're just going to escape come out of everything all the way back to the beginning and now i'm just going to clear my fault light by simply just resetting the control panel so i just need to put my code in again and there we go control panel reset and they have it, the light's gone out and everything's gone back to normal. Go back to the screen and I should just see the normal screen with zero faults and everything looks happy. Just test a few devices, make sure it's working and it's displaying the correct text. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.